A transformer in operation develops heat as a result of the copper and core losses during operation. Heat is not produced rapidly in small transformers, but the rate is much higher in large transformers. The rate of heat production determines how high the operating temperature rises above the ambient temperature. Getting rid of heat is a key element in keeping the temperature of a transformer as low as possible. The necessary rate of heat dissipation influences the size and construction of a transformer. Transformers are classified in two groups according to the method of cooling dry type and oil immersed. When the transformer is in operation, heat is generated due to copper losses in the windings and iron losses in the core. The removal of heat from the transformer is known as cooling of the transformer. No transformer is truly an ideal transformer and hence each will incur some losses, most of which get converted into heat. If this heat is not dissipated properly, the excess temperature in transformer may cause serious problems like insulation failure. It is obvious that transformer needs a cooling system. Transformer cooling methods and types. For the dry type transformers. 1. Air natural and cooling. 2. Air forced AF or air blast AB cooling. For oil immersed type transformers. 1. Oil natural air natural on and cooling. 2. Oil natural air forced ONAF cooling. 3. Oil forced air forced OFAF cooling. 4. Oil forced water forced OFWF cooling. For oil immersed water cooled. 1. Oil natural water forced ONWF. 2. Oil forced water forced OFWF. Dry type transformer. Cooling methods. Dry type transformers are cooled by air circulating over the outside housing. These transformers are usually, usually rated no higher than 500 kilowatts. Dry type transformers are commonly wall mounted and used for lighting. Unlike oil immersed transformers, they may be used indoors without a fireproof vault. Dry type transformer has further two types. One air natural. Two air blast or air forced. Air natural and cooling. The air natural and cooling is used in dry type, self-cooled transformers. In this method, the natural circulation of surrounding air is used for cooling of the transformer. The windings of the transformer are protected against the mechanical damages by a sheet metal enclosure. The air natural cooling is used for low voltage small transformers up to a few kVA. Air forced AF or air blast AB cooling. The air forced AF cooling is used in the dry type, forced air cool transformers. In this method, a continuous blast of filtered cool air is forced with the help of a fan through the core and windings of the transformer for cooling. This method is used for cooling of the transformers up to 15 MVA. Oil Immersed Transformer Cooling Methods Oil immersed transformers are suspended in oil fill tanks. The oil absorbs the heat from transformer and delivers it to the environment outside the transformer. Transformers Types Oil Immersed Cooling 1. Oil Natural Air Natural Type Onan 2. Air Forced Oil Natural Type ONAF 3. Oil Forced Air Natural Type Ofen 4. Oil Forced Air Force Type OFAF Oil Natural Air Natural Onan Cooling The Oil Natural Air Natural Cooling is used in oil emerged type transformers. The most of the transformers of the medium and large ratings have their core and windings emerged in dielectric, dielectric oil which acts both as cooling medium and insulating medium. The oil emerged transformers are enclosed in a sheet steel tank. The heat generated in the core and windings being transferred to the oil. The heated oil becomes lighter and rises to the top and the cool oil takes its place from the bottom of the transformer tank. The heat of the oil is transferred to the walls of the tank by natural circulation of the oil and the heat is then transferred to the surrounding air through the natural radiation and convection. Hence, the oil gets cooler and falls to the bottom. Therefore, a natural circulation of oil takes place for the cooling of the transformer. Oil Natural Air Forced ONAF Cooling In oil natural air forced cooling of the transformer, the heat generated by the core and windings of the transformer is transferred to the walls of the tank and to the radiator through the natural circulation of the oil. Now, the forced air is directed over cooling elements tank, radiator, tubes, fins etc. of the transformer. Hence, the transformer is cooled by the natural circulation of oil and blast of air. This method of cooling is suitable for the large transformers up to 60 MVA. Oil Forced Air Natural Type Ofen 
In this method, copper cooling coils are mounted above the transformer core. The copper coils will be fully immersed in the oil. Along with the oil natural cooling, the heat from the core passes to the copper coils, and the circulating water inside the copper coil takes away the heat. The disadvantage of this method is that since water enters inside the transformer any kind of leakage will contaminate the transformer oil. Oil Forced Air Forced OFAF Cooling In this method of cooling, the heated oil is circulated from the top of the transformer tank to a heat exchanger and the blast of air is forced through the heat exchanger by turning on a fan. Then, the cool oil is returned to the bottom of the transformer tank. This method of cooling is used for higher rating transformers like transformers which, which are used in substations and generating stations. Transformers types oil immersed water cooled. 1. Oil natural water forced ONWF. 2. Oil forced water forced OFWF. In oil natural water force cooling method, the transformer core and the windings are immersed in the oil tank. A radiator is installed outside the tank, as the temperature rises and the oil heats up and moves upward, the heat is dissipated by the natural process of convection and oil is passed through the radiator, but the water is pumped and passed through the heat exchanger for cooling of the oil. Oil Forced Water Forced OFWF Cooling In the Oil Forced Water Forced Cooling method, the heated oil is circulated from the top of the transformer tank to a heat exchanger where the pressurized water is used to separate the heat from the oil. The cool oil is then returned to the bottom of the transformer tank. This type of cooling is mainly used for very large transformers with a 100 MBA ratings like a generating stations. Some transformers are cooled by convection. The oil expands as it becomes warm from contact with the transformer coils. It then rises to the top of the tank and releases the heat to the surrounding air. The cool oil sinks back to the bottom of the tank. This circulation continues as long as the transform reduces heat. The tank of an oil-immersed transformer is designed to remove heat from the oil as rapidly as possible. The surface of the tank may have fins to expose more surface area to the surrounding air and increase the rate of cooling. If the transformer requires faster cooling, it can be equipped with fans to force air over the tank. Some transformers are cooled by circulating water. A coil of pipe, usually made of copper, is placed inside the tank just below the surface of the oil. The ends of the pipe extend out through the tank wall and are connected to a pump that forces cool water through the pipe while the transformer is operating. The oil can also be cooled by pumping it through a radiator exposed to the air. For faster cooling, fans may force air over the radiator. An effective cooling system for the transformer can increase transformer capacity by 25 to 50 percent. For example, a 2000 kilowatts transformer, if cooled efficiently, can operate at 3000 kilowatts without damage.